All right, so here's the question we get a lot. I mean, we get this one quite a bit. How do I get started? Is it too late to get started? I'm super introverted. I have a hard time getting started. I, I, I got a, a rich inner world and it's just, it's hard for me to get started, right? This is a huge problem, right? For a lot of people out there. And I think for everybody at some points in time. All right, so what are some common trends, patterns, whatever that we're seeing here? First thing we're seeing is like people that have consume and sleep or sleep consume in whatever order in their top three animals, right? Everyone has all four animals. It's just which one are your top two? That's gonna be your top top two saviors, just like with functions. And then really, what are your top three? Because just like with functions, you kind of have that third function. It's technically a demon, but it's kind of there. It's kind of activated. You're aware of it, right? So if you're an INTJ, it's that FI, you know, say your savior NITE, you're like, you're aware of your FI, you use your FI, it's technically a demon, you know what I'm saying? And so like, if you have sleep and consume in your top three animals, especially your top two animals, you're then paying for that with having blast and play as demons. And those are your extroverted animals. So your double introverted animals, animals, savior, and then double extroverted animal, demon, yeah, it's going to be hard to dominate the outside world, right? So the big thing that we see is that the the sleep consume is going to constantly just want to have more time to process and more time to get ready. And then once they go out and they do something for 20, 30, 40 minutes, if it doesn't work, it's just like, oh my God, this isn't working. I I, I can't do it, right? Because they don't have the blast play energy, the extroverted energy to just throw shit at the wall for 18 hours a day until something sticks, right? And that's the reality. They're stuck with, you do have to, in fact, work smarter, not harder. Because literally what we've seen, if you push yourself to work harder and you're a super introverted person, you're going to actually burn your body out from pushing it that hard because you're not built to run that fast. One thing that has helped and I've seen help me not you know I struggle with this to some degree really getting a perspective. So let's start with this one here. I just stole some images off the internet here. Carl Jung right he says well allegedly according to the internet memes life really does begin at 40. Up until then you're just doing research. I'm gonna be 41 in a couple months and I can't even tell you how true this is. I feel like my life just kind of got started at about 39. So I feel like I'm 21. Um, Not physically, but like the amount of stuff I can get done over the next 20 years starting now. That's kind of where it's like, all right, now keep score, right? In my 20s and my 30s, it was just flounder fuck. And like, look at these, these other images here. You got all these famous people. Look how far they had to go until they started to get some level of success. Um, this this infographic is a little kind of confusing a little bit, but like it, this is kind of realistic of like before learning, started learning, and then success, kind of like a, a spectrum of success. Because it's not like all of a sudden one day you're 45 years old and all of a sudden you're successful and, you know, 24 hours earlier you weren't. You know what I mean? It is this kind of slow, like, oh, I'm 51% not a shithead. That's kind of how it starts. And then it slowly goes up over the following years, right? I don't want to get too literal here because everyone's life is different, but the point is this. For a lot of people that we really look up to and we really admire, if you go into their biographies, you would be surprised how much horseshit they had to go through, how long it was until they got started, and that the pain and the struggle that you're going through in your 20s, 30s, 40s, whenever, is very real. It's very normal. So for me, like when I was 25, I set my goals at 40. I wanted to have life figured out to some degree and be financially stable and have a job that was meaningful and and even retire to some degree by the time I was about 40. And at 39, it started to kind of go that way, finally. So that was 15 years of me just wandering around in the dark, trying shit, being unmotivated, working on random things, trying to get my shit together, right? Not that, you know, I'm some great example of getting my shit together, but compared to my 25-year-old self, holy hell, I've come a long way. So the point is like giving yourself that freedom to have your decade to wander in the wilderness because so many great people that you look up to that I look up to have had to go through that. And then yes, if you're a very introverted, insecure, scared of the outside world person, yes, this is gonna be harder. This is gonna take you longer. You gotta work in smaller steps. You gotta use that deep introverted world to outthink the problem and not outwork the problem. Set a realistic goal of 10 years out. 10 years. I don't care if you're 40 now. What are you going to be doing at 50? At 10 years, that gives you some time to really wander and get your shit together. And then if it's 10 years later and you still haven't made it, Now you got something to cry about.